Hey, you see this panel right here? This is the layers panel and it's got to be the most used panel in Photoshop. So why don't we know more tips and tricks about how to more effectively use the layers panel? Guess what? After today, you're going to know a ton more about the layers panel. So let's jump into it. The first thing that we're going to look at doing is quickly unlocking the background layer with no dialog box, no frills. All you do is hold down your Alt or Option key and double cl click the background layer. Boom, unlocked, no big deal, piece of cake. The next thing is quickly creating a new layer. Secret hotkey, Control Shift Alt N. That would be Command Shift Option N on the Mac. It allows you to create a new layer in literally one second with no dialog boxes or anything like that. And then check this out. Let's say we just write the word hello. Right? Welcome, whatever, something like that. And we want to duplicate the layer. The hotkey Commander Control J duplicates that layer and gives us a second copy of that exact layer. Maybe we don't want that second layer. Well, guess what? You can hit the delete key and get rid of any layer as long as it's selected in the layers panel. Let's say you've applied a cheesy film effect. Well, I shouldn't say cheesy, a film effect to your photo and you want to get all of this into one solid layer. You can see in the layers panel, we have our image and our adjustment layers. Well, you can merge all of your visible layers to a new layer while preserving your editable layers by using the hotkey. And this is hidden, a hidden hotkey, control shift alt E. That would be command shift option E on the Mac. There you go, merged to a new layer. Now one other cool trick and something that you can do with the layers panel is select the contents of a layer or rather create a selection around the contents of the layer by holding down the command or control key and clicking on that thumbnail. You can see it loads a selection around the image, command or control D to deselect by the way, or you can control click even things like a type or a shape layer and bring up a selection of the content in that layer. One other thing you can do is with the move tool you can select a layer without knowing where it is in your layers panel. So let's say you have a thousand layers and there's one little, like this background image and you don't know where it is. Obviously we know where it is, but let's say for the sake of the argument, we don't know where it is. You can grab the move tool and hold down the command or control key and just click the image and you can see it's gonna select that layer in the layers panel. By the way, there is an option to automatically or auto select when you click with the move tool. You can turn that on. I don't like to do that because I find that it messes me up when I'm trying to just move layers around. Just knowing the little hotkey that you can hit command or control and click, you can see now we're back on the text layer, back on the image layer, back on the text layer, and so on and so forth. One of the other cool things in the layers panel and something kind of new to Photoshop is this search option. We can search for a layer based on a color we've applied to it, whether or not it's a smart object or anything like that, even by name. So we can type this in and say, hey, I'm looking for layer one. Up, oh, no, there's layer one with a space, and hey, there's layer one. So this again goes if you have hundreds of layers and you need to quickly find a layer, boom. If you name your layers, you should be able to search for them. One of the other really cool things you can do is lock a layer. So here we can hit the little lock icon and completely lock a layer. You see if I try to move it, it's going to say, nope, can't use the move tool, layer's locked. Okay. I don't want to lock it down that much. You can also lock the position of the layer, which means basically you can't move it, um, but you should be able to do things like paint on the layer, right? All right. We can unlock that or you can lock uh, the the pixels of the layer, which means we can't paint on the layer, but we can move it. We just can't edit that artwork. Last but not least, we have locked the transparency of that layer. Locking the transparency of the layer means that you can edit the, the pixels that are existing. So here, I'm not selecting anything. I'm just going to fill the entire layer with black by hitting Alt Backspace. That would be Option Delete on the Mac. And you can see the only thing that fills is the text as it currently exists on that layer because I'm locking all the transparent pixels. One of the really, really cool features of the Layers panel is the ability to go hit this flyout menu and choose Panel Options and change the size of the thumbnail or what the thumbnail thumbnail displays. So you can make the thumbnail really small, very tiny. I like my thumbnails large, so I'm going to make the thumbnail large. There's some other options here that are also really cool. We're not going to get into them right here in this tutorial at this point. All right. One of the other things that you can do with uh, Photoshop is link layers together. So let's create another layer here and just paint something. I don't know. We'll paint like a little uh, little curly Q or something on the corner. It looks horrific, but you know what? It's just an example. We can then select both layers in the layers panel by holding down our command or control key and selecting the other layer. Then we can right click or we can just use this little link icon to link those layers together. What does this mean? Well, check this out. If we select this layer too and we grab our move tool and we drag that layer, it's going to drag the layer that it's linked to as well. So we can always maintain its position with respect to this text layer. The same goes for transforming that layer. See that? I just 
free transform the layer and everything is going to transform together. That is linking layers. And last but not least, I want to talk about clipping masks because they are ridiculously useful. I have here the image above the text layer. All right, what we're going to do is to make this really noticeable is just hit command I, it'd be control I on windows. And that's going to give us this whacked out psychedelic looking photo. That's great. It's really going to contrast with the image underneath. Hold down the alter option key and hover between two layers and you can do what's called clipping. This clips the top image to our text, essentially displaying our top image only through the pixels of that bottom layer. So you can see that that image now essentially is just the text beneath it. Let's say we drag the text. It's almost like we're dragging the text over that image that is being clipped on that layer because the image isn't moving. Only the text is moving and it's sort of showing through that text. That's a clipping mask, and they are insanely useful. That's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want more free Photoshop tutorials, make sure you go check out www.tutvid.com. And thank you for watching. Hey, wait, stop. Before you click away from this video, I just want to remind you, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that little like button. It helps this video go up. And going up is what I like. That's what we want to do. If you also have a couple more seconds, go ahead and leave a comment. That's cool, too. That's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, check out either of these two videos right here more of the stuff that I do. This hand is weird. Right there. Thanks, guys.